What is going on everybody? So today we are fixing a little problem with the RV. We have a, I think it's a broken check valve. I think it froze early in the year. Um, so basically what's happening is when we're using our fresh water, um, city water, we're hooked up to utilities, um, our fresh water tank on board fills up over time. I imagine there's a little rubber um, seal or washer or something in it that's gone bad. Um, so it should be a pretty easy fix. Um, I'll show you the replacement part here. So <clears throat> got it from eTrailer.com. Not super psyched about how it came. It's all taped up and stuff, but everything looks to be new. So this is actually typically for um, kind of winterizing your RV. So we have a, we basically have our water pump. This is in line. It goes to a fresh water tank and then you can switch the valve to suck up uh, antifreeze, which is what we do when we're uh, not at the RV for extended periods of time, or if we're gonna leave it over the winter, which this year we're living in it, but normally um, we would just winterize it that way. So we're just gonna replace this and I believe it's gonna fix the problem. Should be pretty simple. I'll try to film what I can, but as you guys know in RVs, we have an older one and it is a tiny little box that is pretty tough to get into. So I'll kind of show you, it should be really simple. Just some Teflon tape, the new valve, um, maybe some towels to kind of wipe up any uh, excess water that comes out of anything, but it really should be um, pretty simple. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is shut off our water and we're gonna drain all our water lines. Obviously, we don't want all that water uh, coming out once we take this new valve off and getting everything wet in kind of our wet bay there. So turn off our water connection. And here's kind of a general overview. Here's our water pump. And then as you can see, tucked back in there, there's our little valve. So that goes, that way it goes into our fresh water or into our um, piping. Here is our fresh water tank. And then this is the hose used for um, sucking in the antifreeze. And <clears throat> as you can see, should be a pretty simple fix. Undo those two things, need to pull this. Um, had some insulation in there for the winter just to try to keep things from not freezing up. Next big thing we're gonna do is go inside turn on the water pump and suck all of the water it's we're giving it, you can kind of see it on camera so we have a little bit of water in there so we want to empty the tank obviously because we undo the uh, valve it's going to get all over everything and then we're going to purge all our water lines in general and then we can take all this off should be i'm hoping like a 20 minute fix but every time i say that it's longer but should be pretty quick so turn our water pump on here and just going to turn on the sink sorry it's a little dirty and I think I'm just gonna do the bathroom too. So, do the bathroom as well. So while we wait for the tank to drain, I'm going to go ahead and just get a head start here and put the Teflon tape. Put it there and it said to not put it on this end with the cap, but since I'm gonna leave it capped, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. It's not gonna hurt anything. It just make the cap a little more difficult to get off. So first piece, we're gonna disconnect. I think I'm gonna disconnect this piece here. There's the old one. Okay, so I got this piece now. I went, I had a run and uh, tighten this. I went and grabbed a wrench from the office. So that's nice and that's really tight to the valve there. And then all I gotta do is screw it back on into there. And as you can see here, consulting the instructions, you want the arrow pointing towards the tank and the coupler towards the pump, which is how we have it. So it's gonna orient like this. As you can see the area, the arrow, I'm sorry, is gonna go towards the tank and then the plastic coupler there. Okay. So, um, so 
all of that is pretty well tightened down. And now all we gotta do is we're gonna go pressurize the system by turning on the water and obviously make sure that no, uh, no water leaks out from any of those new uh, couplers and uh, things we, uh, we just replaced. All right, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's a little leak coming off now. So I think maybe I'm gonna take that piece off. Maybe try without the Teflon tape because it told me not to Teflon tape it. So maybe I should listen to that. Let's try that. All right, we don't have any leaks anymore. Um, I would recommend maybe hand tightening that and not uh, using Teflon tape. Also, the little rubber washer inside had gotten messed up, so I think I over tightened it. So that's good to know at least. Um, this does kind of fix the issue of water running into a fresh water tank. So if some of you guys are experiencing that, definitely check that um, coupler. That's, that's probably a big part of it. Um, and then two, um, if you want to install a uh, install the, the little bypass valve to winterize your RV, that's how you do it as well. So kind of two birds with one stone. Yeah, this, this should fix the problem. Um, and if you guys are having any of those issues, um, this should uh, kind of help fix that solution. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was helpful and we will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.